Okay, so this is a vocabulary about capitalization, and then we're gonna do some practice with it after. Man, I've been talking about my trip to New York City. It was crazy. I mean, it's not the capital or anything. There's a lot of things out there that deserve capitals. Check it out. My grandma and daddy, uncle, drive it. Went to New York City. Yeah, it was July. We flew jet, blue, nerdy, that JFK. Went to the next, saw the next. It was a Saturday. It was traffic. Because President Barack Obama was visiting Queens. That was causing drama. I was reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. In the back of a super room, sniffing the coat. It was Independence Day. I'm not real snitch, but I started liking this day. Real quickly, I bought an iHeart in YCT down North Canal Street. They were speaking Chinese. A FBI man zoomed right by me. I saw dudes in Central Park doing Chai Chi. I even saw a mural of B.I.G. Overall, it was a fun trip to the East. I'm saying, when you get specific, capitalize. First word of the sentence, capitalize. Funds in days, capitalize. The pronoun I, capitalize. When you get specific, capitalize. Title before a name, capitalize. All proper nouns, capitalize. Now let's try it again with hardly any capital. My grandma and my uncle and me, we took a trip last summer to a big city. We landed at the airport after taking the plane. Saw some art and baseball. What a long day. There was traffic because the president was in town. And that was causing drama. It was hard to get around. I was reading the book. I don't know what it was called. In the back of a car, sipping soda with a straw. It was a holiday. And I'm not an actor. The world that was a good thing, and what came after? I bought a t shirt and a sandwich down North Street. They were speaking a language. I almost got hit by a police car. I saw dudes in the park, they were doing martial arts. I even saw a big mural up on the wall. It was a fun trip. Overall, I'm saying, when you get specific, capitalize. First word of a sentence, capitalize. Months and days. All right, so now let's talk about what we should capitalize. So get out your writing journal. Get out your writing journal. Because now we're going to do some capitalization examples. This should hopefully be a review from kindergarten, first, and second grade but it might be new to some people, so I wanna go through it, okay? So, we are looking at what gets capitalized? What gets a capital letter? What gets a capital letter? What gets a capital letter? That's what we're looking at. What gets a capital letter? So you should be writing this in your journal with me, okay? Because I want y'all to have this in your journal so you have examples of it. What gets a capital letter? What gets a capital letter? What gets a capital letter? Okay, so, yes, Camila. Oh, what are we supposed to say? Oh, hold on. We got this. All right. So, what gets a capital letter? So, the first thing, first thing that gets capital letter, okay? The letter I. 
Anytime you're using the letter I by itself. Anytime you're using the letter I by itself. Anytime you're using the letter I by itself, it gets a capital letter. Anytime you're using the letter I by itself. Anytime you're using the cap, the letter I by itself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you what gets a capital letter and then we'll do some examples, okay? First, I just want to list out what gets a capital letter and then we'll do some example sentences. The next thing is names of people and pets. Names of people and pets. Names of people and pets. What if, what if, the channel? Yes. What, what about cities, countries? We're um, getting there, we're getting there. Continents. We're getting there. I've only written down two. We're getting there. I'm gonna just gonna write down human beings. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Names of places. Names of places. So this could be a state. This could be a restaurant. This could be a continent. This could be anything. Any name of a place. Any name of a place. The only time it doesn't get a capital letter is if you're using something generic like store or restaurant. But if you're going to use the specific place, if you're going to say McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, then those would get a capital letter because you're giving me a specific name. Names of holidays. Anytime you write a holiday, anytime you write a holiday, the name of the holiday needs to be capitalized. Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, always is going to be capitalized. Days of the week, days of the week, and I'm going to put these two together because they kind of go together, and months of the year, so days and months. Days and months. If it's a day or a month, it goes together. Or it's capital, sorry. Day and a month, capital. Day, month, capital. Days of the week and months of the year. If it's a week or a day, it gets capital. All right, and then you ready? Here's the big one that you always, always need to remember. So I'm going to put a star by it. Beginning of a sentence. This is our big one that we don't like to do. Anytime you start a sentence, it has to have a capital letter. Anytime you start a new sentence, it has to have a capital letter. Thank you. 
All right, so after you're done with that, we're gonna do some examples, okay? So, I'm gonna give you an example. I got to visit Austin over the summer. Okay? Yes, Aaron. I did the same. Awesome. I love going to Austin. It's so much fun. I went to the place with the biggest pool. Ooh, it, very it's cool. Called... We went to Fairmount. Ooh, cool. I was trying to remember what it was called. That's very cool. I wanted, I haven't been there yet, but I definitely want to go. It looks super fun. Oh, just write what we did? It really is, but it's super crowded. Oh, I can see that. Can we write no, what we did? So copy my, copy my example first. Copy my example first. And then I'll have you write your own example. So copy my example first, and then I'll have you write your own example. Okay? So copy my example first, and then I'll have you write your own example. So you have I is capitalized, and Austin is capitalized. I have I because it's the letter I, right, by itself. And it's the beginning of a sentence. So it really gets a double capital letter, right? But you only just put capital. Right, so it's the I and it's the beginning of a sentence. And then I capitalized Austin because that's the name of a place, it's the name of a city. And then nothing else in my sentence gets capitalized. Summer does not get capitalized. It may look like it, but it's not. It does not get capitalized. If you wanna do what I did and write in pencil and then highlight or underline in like a different color, um, the stuff that gets capitalized, you can do that if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Totally up to you. Okay, so now I want you to write your own example. So now write your own example. Yes, Holly. I just wrote a sentence with everything on the list. Very cool. I'll have to have you send it in the chat in a second. We'll give some examples in the chat in a second. So now write your own example. Now write your own example. Okay, I decided I might have finished yours. All right, and then I'm going to give you one more example. So you have one more example, and then you'll do another example, and then we'll move on. The month of... October is my favorite because I finished my sentence of awesome Halloween. Okay, so you should have my two examples written down and then you should have two of your own examples. My two examples written down and then have two of your own examples. So you'll notice I capitalized October because it is the month of a year. I capitalized the because it's the beginning of a sentence. And I capitalized Halloween because it is a holiday. It's a name of a holiday. Awesome.
All right, I'm gonna give everybody two more minutes to write their two examples, and then I'm gonna have you send your examples in the chat. Okay, so you should have my two sentences and you should have your two sentences. So these are what gets a capital letter? The letter I, names of people and pets, names of places, names of holidays, days of the week and months of the year, and the beginning of a sentence. So anytime we're writing sentences, we wanna make sure we are looking for what gets a capital letter and that we are giving it that capital letter. 